In this video, let us look into another one of the operation on sets, which is complement of a set. So we'll see what is complement of a set. All right, here we are. We've got the explanation of uh, complement of a set. It's a very simple one. It's nothing but let U be the universal set and let A be a set such that A is a subset of U. So if you see the big black box, that the whole thing is called as a universal set. All right, so the whole thing, including the set A, is called as a universal set. Now then the complement of A, now in that we've got a set A, all right? So if this is the situation, I'll come to the blue shades and all those things. Now then, complement of A with respect to U is denoted by a raised to c or a dash or u minus a. So I, I think when you see the term u minus a, you pretty much understand what is the complement of set a with respect to u. Because in the previous video or the one before that, we've seen what is the difference of sets and we've seen a minus b and b minus a. So when you say it is u minus a, it says all this, uh, all the elements of the set that belongs to u but not to a. So that is what is the complement of a set. So it is very important to know that what is the complement. I mean, the complement of a set with respect to what? In in this case, if you see, it is the complement of set A with respect to U. And it is defined as a set of all those elements of U which are not in A. That's what I told you. So, if you see the shaded portion, right, the blue color thing, that represents A dash for you, or that represents complement of set A. In the middle, it represents a set A, and the whole thing, including the set A, is a universal set. So, as far as this Venn diagram is concerned, the blue shadings, the region of the blue shading, except this circle here. The box, except the circle here, represents complement of set A with respect to U. So this is what is called as a complement of a set. Before we conclude this video, let us look into an example or an illustration to understand the complement of a set a little more. So here we are with an example. It reads... Let the set of natural numbers n be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 be the universal set. And let a be equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. All right. So this is going to be the, so if you, I mean, a is going to be one of the sets. All right. If you see what is the natural number set, it is called as a universal set. And then if you notice the set a, it is nothing but the even numbers. All right. So what do you think is going to be the complement of set a here? It is going to be every element of the set of the natural numbers that does not belong to A or that on, that belongs only to the universal set U. So therefore, complement of A, it can be written as A dash or A to the power C or U minus A, it is nothing but it's going to be equal to everything except the even numbers from the natural numbers. So it's going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, dot, 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 and so on. So this particular set, you know, the odd numbers, the list of odd numbers, the set of odd numbers is going to be the complement of set A with respect to U, which is a set of natural numbers. All right, so that is what it is. It is not very different from the difference of sets, I would say, except the fact that, you know, we've got the un uh, we've got the universal set as the reference point here. That's the only difference. Otherwise, it's not very different from the difference of sets concept at all. All right, so that ends this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts or problems based on sets.